Yeah, this one is just a lot of different memories. While pictures can capture moments, it's heart that makes them memorable. That's the old one when he coached uh, football. For Demetria Flores, old photos of her dad, Julio, are not meant to memorialize, but rather recognize his purpose. His decades with the Boys and Girls Club, as a volunteer, to a staff member and coach, to eventually running the Cope Ranch for years before moving to Puerto Rico in 2021. You could just tell like that was just his passion, but once he finally was coaching and being with the kids, like that was really what changed him a, a lot. And I think he just enjoyed, yeah, just filled his heart. <laughs> a heart so big, it's now too big. He was diagnosed with a rare heart disease called myocarditis. Um, and they think that that actually stemmed back from COVID when he got COVID um, back in 2020. And then um, it was essentially just eating away at his heart. Julio was sent home with medicine. He was rushed back weeks later. His doctors told him his heart was operating at 20 percent. He needed a transplant and likely needed it stateside, which means he would need an air ambulance with a price tag most families can't afford. We're just, yeah, begging for whatever we can get right now to keep him alive, really. Keep him alive to create old memories with someone new. I do any day now and I can't go see my father. I literally have to remind myself like you have to stay calm and you have things here you got to do for the baby. Signs of change are all around Demetria's home. She just hopes there's room for more, more memories with a man that has so much heart. Him always giving his self, his energy, his uh, life just to help others is just is a constant for him. He can't help it. So it's crazy to think about just, I don't think about it all full circle. Friends and family members did host a fundraiser for Julio yesterday and they collected $2,000. They're looking to raise about 50000 for the air ambulance to get him back to Denver. That's so hard when you want somebody here to get the help, but then just the, you don't think about it. The it's finances. The expense of getting someone here to the States where they get the care they need. Let alone the transplant, right? right? And there's a possibility that he may need a kidney transplant as well right now. So they're thinking about all of those dollar signs and they know the help is available. They just need to be able to afford it. And that's and, the toughest part. And the clock is ticking. The You're clock. aware of time. Time becomes very important. Right. And I mean, she's nine months pregnant right now. She's due at the end of the month. All she wants is for her father to be able to hold his grandson. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Time is really of the essence in, in a lot of ways. Well, thanks for bringing us that, Jaleesa.